Nearly 1,600 suckers cover eight long arms, with lengths reaching up to 24 feet from the tip of one tentacle to the next. A sudden change in environment has this unique boneless sea critter changing from one color to the next. We do have uh, two main species of octopus in the Salish Sea, the ruby octopus and the giant Pacific octopus. And in most areas you can find an octopus or two whenever you go diving. For those of us who aren't divers, you can find both species at the Shaw Ocean Discovery Center. However, octopuses are active one day on, and the next day they kind of lay around and snooze. Guess what? Our octopus today is having a nap. But we didn't want to disappoint you, so we came back the next day. His name is The Dude. He's a two-year-old giant Pacific octopus. Assistant aquarist Daniel Woodchuck has been with The Dude from the start, and they've developed a fond friendship. I went away on vacation and he seemed to, you know, really be happy when I came back and he kind of missed me and, you know, just that personal element of him to me has been really cool. Octopus tend to live in a rocky environment in our Salish Sea and one of their companions is the rockfish, which are pretty interesting themselves. They actually live birth their babies, which means they lay the eggs inside of them and birth them from there. They can also live up to 80 years old. Sometimes you will see rockfish inside octopus dens, and if an octopus is hungry enough, they will eat the rockfish. But their favorite food is the red crab. To keep the dude entertained, the aquarist will play a few games. Instead of just feeding him a crab, for example, for him to get it, we'll stick it inside a jar, and uh, he's actually smart enough to unscrew the jar and get inside. This trick is no surprise to those who are closest to him. It's said this eight tentacle creature has a reputation for being one of the smartest creatures in the sea. It's been shown in several um, research projects that octopus will go through a maze and remember how to do it the next time. And if one octopus is looking at another one going through the maze, they will learn just by observing. Can you find a sleeping fish? The dude is a big hit with a lot of families. In fact, this family has been here twice this week. He's done a lot of cool stuff. Last Sunday, um, he was all fanned out in the side tank, so you can see every bit of him. In order to be as least interruptive as possible to their life cycle, the Shaw Ocean Discovery Center will only keep an octopus for six months to a year. That means the dude will be released back into the Salish Sea in late spring. In Sydney, I'm Jen Moranitz, discovering our Salish Sea.